Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will try to understand what is the price variation per person per night over the year, like from Jan to December, we will see the price variation. Remember, it is for per person, okay? And then per night. Okay, now what do we have? We have two hotels. One is resort and the other one is city. Okay, uh, what is like we have vera, uh, like different number of rows for January, February. Same same goes uh, till the December. So what, what is the value we should take? Either we can go with average or median. Um, but for in this case, we will make it like we will keep it simple so i'm going with average values okay for example say suppose in january resort uh, hotel is having 10 as average this is just an example okay 10 and in february 7 march 8 so on in city it is having 7 feb is 7 march is 7 sorry 6 so with this data, whatever the uh, amount we are seeing here, we can see that, okay, January is the one which is having the um, higher num number, like this is the one in this month, it is expensive in the resort hotel. Same thing in city, it is from Jan to Feb, this is quite expensive. This is the kind of analysis we are trying to do right now. Okay. Now. What is the chart which we can uh, do? Like which chart we can go with? We will be having resort data separately, city data separately. So preferably we will be going with line chart. Uh, this is not how exactly the uh, results will look, but this is just for an example for us to understand. Okay, this yellow color line is resort and the uh, green is for city. So this is how probably it will look and in the x axis we want to have month column and in the y axis we want to have price okay now let's uh, break it down into steps for this case okay so that it becomes uh, easy for us to understand also if you are a very beginner it won't be very complicated for you to understand okay first thing we have a data set but we, what, what do we want to do? We want to uh, like draw two lines. One is for resort and the other one is for city. So first thing, we want two different data frames. So create it. Create two this, uh, separate data frame. One is resort and the other one is city. In this resort um, data frame, you must have resort data and make sure that you, you are having valid entries. That means is cancelled should be zero. That means the uh, like the hotel should not hotel booking should not be cancelled. Same thing goes here. In this city data frame, have only city uh, hotel data and is cancelled should be zero. The next one, now we have two uh, separate uh, data frames with the column month and address okay here month and adr what what do we have in this case after the step one uh, say suppose this is the month like jan like multiple values will be present for january because we are not having one or two um, guests we are having multiple uh, visitors visiting the hotel so this average daily rate it will have multiple values. What do we need to do? In this case, consider all this for this month, take the average. Okay, take the average and uh, place it in our ADR. This is the second step. Calculate the average value based on the month. Okay, again, you will be having two separate data frame even in this case. Okay, in the third step, what are we doing? We are combining the two data frame 
into one data frame how using common field if you have written sql queries it is exactly similar to join okay but in this case we are merging it if you don't know sql no worries we will understand what exactly this function does say in jan month uh, we have two data frame now resort and city we have month and uh, adr okay based on the common month say suppose in jan if you have 10 20 here 10 here this is for jan month same way for jan month you have 10 so you are just joining based on this um, common column that is jan you will place jan here and then value for this resort is uh, 20 and here 10 this is what you are trying to do in step 3 you are actually merging two different data frame into one now uh, in data frame the month names are not arranged chronologically it is not arranged like jan feb march so you have to rearrange the month and then the last step is plot the chart okay when it comes to um, calculating average i just have one thing to say in case of this uh, analysis say suppose we have uh, two guests from in in the month of jan and two visitors in jan uh, ultimately the price should be same but for some reason price is different so we'll keep it as it is and then average how we were we'll calculate is 10 plus 20 by 2 which comes to 15 but uh, can we say that this is 15 is the average value per person no right think why because we are having two guests so you have to can count 2 plus 2 that is 4 30 by 4 7.5 should be the average i hope you got the answer uh, like you i hope you understood it in in case if the visitors were 1 1 then this would have been absolutely fine but if you see the number of visitors are 2 2 like we are calculating per person for two person they suppose the price is 10 what about for one person it is 5 so and then for in this case for one person it is 10 so ideally 15 by 2 that is 7.5 this is the average per person so that is what we will be calculating now uh, we will see this also this is how we actually misinterpret the data okay sometimes it does happens but we have to be a bit careful in in our okay just to summarize what are the steps if you want to recollect on your own please pause the video and try to you know write it on your own uh, this is not the only way to do it there are multiple ways this is just i thought this would be the easier one okay first step create two different data frames the second step is calculate the average keep in mind that to count number of uh, like um, visitors or guests okay third step is to merge the two different data frame using the common field okay fourth is rearrange the month fifth is plot the chart okay it's easy the moment you know the steps it becomes very easy now we are on jupyter notebook okay uh, this is how we misinterpret the data exactly the the only um, issue with this is the way we calculate the average okay let's go ahead let's uh, see what is that okay step one create two data frames resort and city resort is having resort hotel data and is cancelled is equal to zero this is what this line of code is doing and we are storing that in resort same thing with city the only difference is we are storing city hotel data if you want you can just see execute this okay it's having all the resort information and we're making sure that is cancelled is equal to zero like what exactly this does is i think um, 
based on this column we are just grouping and calculating the mean adr value okay see uh, this is the arrival date month this is the adr average or uh, adr okay i'm just printing the values exactly the same step we will repeat for the city hotel as well so let's see city hotel group by month and then adr mean we are just doing the reset index period we are printing this value now this is our step 2 that means we have calculated the mean okay now we have to merge these two data frame city hotel and the resort hotel i am just creating new variable final is equal to resort hotel this is the merge this is the method which we are calling and then we are passing city hotel as our secondary data frame on which column you have to merge the only common column which we have is month you can't merge based on the adr this is what we want uh, from these two different data frame so the common column which we can choose is arrival date month so based on that column we are just doing the merge and then we are just renaming the uh, columns in this final data frame uh, the first one will be given month price for resort this is the one and then price for city hotel okay you can check actually april this is 11 uh, triple one for city hotel okay this is the one this is city hotel it is actually showing up properly now we have merged what is the next step we have to rearrange the uh, month okay for this you have to import this um, module sort data frame by month or week i think for this you have to uh, install this uh, um, module i think this is not uh, by default uh, by default this uh, module is not present in your um, what is that uh, python or anaconda which you install so uh, just uh, install this pip3 install this name i guess um okay and then for even for plotly as well i completely forgot to say you have to uh, install pip pip3 install plotly okay i will just write it down one second this is how you install new modules in uh, uh, um, what is uh, python just go to your command type a cmd if you are using windows mac i'm really not sure i have used only for the work purpose but still i really don't know um for the windows just go to command prompt type pip3 install plotly okay for this one just give me a second okay in for this one you have to install pip install sort data frame by month or week okay now what are we doing we are just taking sd this is the method name sort data frame by month we are giving this whatever the final uh, data frame which we have created we are giving that what is that column name which we want to sort that is month so give that and then uh, just execute this one it is ordered chronologically in this case it is not previously it was not ordered but now it is ordered okay this is what this line of code is doing in this line of code let me try to make it more readable okay we are creating line chart final is our data frame x axis month y axis we have these two column price for resort price for city hotel that is what i am doing and then title i am giving room price per night over the months okay i have executed this is what we are seeing the maximum oh one second i'll just erase this okay this is the month which is having maximum price that is august for resort hotel i think even for even for city hotel also i think this is the one which is having maximum the prices are actually completely varying okay 
in this case we are not considering number of guests like we are doing this way i will just uh, take you to this explanation okay what we did was this method which is wrong that is what i was trying to explain whatever we the um, analysis we did it is wrong so we have to consider the number of people as 2 plus 2 that is uh, 4 not uh, just two two different entries this is not how we should consider we have to actually count these values 2 plus 2 that is 4 this is what we will be doing in our next analysis okay, let's see everything else is same okay the only difference is we are just updating this uh, we are just adding new column to the same uh, data frame with adr by total number of adults by a plus children okay and this is the formula one second i will just write say suppose um say 80 is the value for this adr by say suppose the guest um, adults are two and uh, children are also two so we will be counting this counting it as 80 by 4 that is equal to 20 this is the value per person this is the analysis which we want to do we want to see price variation per person so that is how we are checking like 20 instead of 80 in the above case which we did which we misinterpreted the data we considered 80 but the correct value is 20 i am i know i am emphasizing more on this point but because this is very important okay uh, well if you if you think i am uh, emphasizing on this talk in this uh, line uh, sorry about that but it is very important okay now let's uh, see the next uh, line sorry okay the next lines are exactly similar this is again resort and then cancer we are storing it i'm just copy pasted everything except for this adr in this case we are just considering adr updated in the previous case we were considering adr okay, same thing same exactly similar okay now if you see well uh, you, you can see that oh, okay the graph looks exactly same in the month of august we had the peak even here we are having the peak in the month of august but look at the values in our axis the maximum is 80 in this case it's 180 this is the difference okay actually we can say this analysis is per uh, family kind of uh, thing analysis like not per family but whatever the number of people who enter like in that row whatever the number of people who enter this analysis works fine but this one is per per person okay we can say that the maximum is on the august but the prices are completely varies um, well uh, this is the spring season in no no summer season okay as you can see here during the summer sorry uh, summer is uh, okay in portugal summer season falls between june and may that is when even the prices are more and the prices are actually uh, we, we cannot say that uh, it is increasing or decreasing it is uh, depends on many factors and it is just increasing and decreasing so that is the conclusion which we are drawing out of this graph uh, this is for uh, this video i hope you are uh, able to understand what we did in this uh, video thank you so much i'll see you in the next video thank you so much